Uku Yuriandal, and Bada Hari. Ferocious is that knockout ratio. And I will knock this guy out. He knocked him down! It's over! Oh, he's not finished! Uku! Yeah, yeah! He fought his way to the finals of a four-man heavyweight tournament earlier this year. Please give a big Bulgarian welcome to Uku Yeyenda! Here is Uku Yerendal. This will be his fifth fight here in glory in 2023. He accepted this fight on three weeks notice and with no hesitation. He's a big, powerful striker. Both of his wins coming in the first round by knockout. Uku is a guy you need to watch because he's big and he has very dangerous hook. I also did some trainings with them and except that hooks, his jumping knee is very explosive and his superman punch, that is his, that's his go-to when he's in trouble. And we've seen Badr got hurt with the jumping knee, so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen here. He is one of the most feared yet beloved kickboxers of all time and brings his storied career to Bulgaria for the very first time. Butter, Harry. Here he is, kickboxing's biggest star, Bader Hari, makes his way into the ring here in Bulgaria. Was scheduled to fight here in Paris, but making a quick turnover here, as he wants a big finish here and a big knockout here to get the crown hyped up. And I know Antonio's here beside me, dancing and excited to see Bader Hari enter the ring. I really like this song from Bader Hari. Gets me pumped every time and get to see his entrance. And you can see on him, he's ready. There's really no need to say anything about Bader. He's the badass, he's the bad boy, he's the golden boy. He's the guy we all be looking for as a kid. So I'm just, I, I'm having, having a pleasure to sit here, comment his fight and watch it. Yep, every time Bader fights, I feel privileged to call it. I watched him as a kid and here he is here at Glory 89. And it's a Glory Grand Prix qualifier tournament. A win here can put Badr Hari in the Grand Prix tournament, which would be insane. There's nothing more exciting than seeing Badr Hari in the kickboxing ring. This fight is... Here's a look at the tail of the tape. Badr Hari, 38. Yurindal, 34. The height, the reach, all going to the Moroccan Badr Hari. Bader's gonna stay long, Uku's gonna pressure, but man, you don't get a better record than that. For Bader Hari, 122 fights, 87% knockout ratio. He's the baddest knockout kickboxer on the planet. Uku Yerendal, look at that, 27 fights, 79% KO ratio. Both of these guys are all about exciting fights and knockouts. My keys to glory for this fight, for Bader Hari, it's patient pressure. He can't open up too quick, but when he does, it's explosive, and those speed counters he has are insane. For Uku, he needs to stay defensive and then use counters. He can't open up. He may have to chop away at Bader's legs and set up his big power shots that he's known for. He can't just go in there, swing it open. Bader's too technical for that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this Grand Prix qualifier is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, 
all of his glory wins have come by first round knockouts at glory 86 and glory 87. His professional record, 19 wins with eight losses. 15 of those wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.93 meters, he weighed in at five time at an even 247 pounds, 112.1 kilos. Fighting out of Estonia and ranked number nine in the Glory World Rankings, here is Uku Yeyenda! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world champion who made his Grand Prix debut at the tender age of 19 and went on to become a two-time Grand Prix finalist. His professional record, 106 wins, 16 losses, and 92 career knockouts. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in and even 261 pounds, 118.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco and ranked number six in the Glory World Rankings, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the baddest The third man inside the ropes, your referee is Yusuf Akni. Okay, fighters, you both know the rules. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Okay, touch gloves. Step back. Here we go. Badr Hari, Uku down. Anytime Badr's first round, Time. you hold your Wait. breath. Yeah, let's go, let's go. The tension is very high here. You can cut it in the air. Yep, Uku's got very good low kicks. Badr, a great jab. Good counter for Badr Jeb, strong low kick. Yeah, and Uku is targeting Badr's calf, which would be a good technique. Calf kicks are really starting to make their way here in kickboxing. Ooh. Ooh, and you already see a little limp from Badr on it. He's got to open up with his hands. That's the way to stop that calf kick. Oh, he's, he, he's starting to turn his leg a little bit more outside because of that calf kick. But good tactics with Yuku. Yep. Does you the strong punches, just the strong low kick. And especially, you know, Badr's got a great jab. How do you shut the jab down? Calf kicks. Yeah, he just show how to shut it. Yep. But another good defense to the calf kick, Antonio, is the switch kick left. And Badr's got a good left kick. Yeah, one of the best left kicks of all time to yep. the body. So Badr maybe using his jab and his left kick would be a great defense to it. Uku is staying really patient. I wonder what he, what's going through his mind right now. I think Badr's just waiting for that moment when you see him start opening up. Now he's using his feint. To enter, yeah, Botter used his feints, got offline. You can see the Uku is still dangerous when he starts swinging with those big hooks. Butter cannot open too much that soon because Uku still have a lot of power. He's a very big guy. Yep, I think Uku's got to use feints a lot too to try to see what Botter's setting him up with and uh, vice versa. Butter should just should stick behind the jab and switch kick to the body yep. for, the, for the first round and a half to get the Uku a little bit slower, Ooh. not to get him too much. Man, the way Badr throws those power combinations. He goes in not 100, but 200%. Yeah, there's no half combinations for Badr, it's full out. It's just life of death, nothing else. Yep, do or die for Badr Hari. That's why he's become such a big star. People like knockouts and he give them knockouts. If you want to be famous, just knock people out. That's it. Well said, Antonio. You can see Uku is being patient, which, which, I, which I think is really smart, and waiting for Badr to open to start throw the hooks. Yep, and I think Uku's got to start fainting and then going to the calf kick. Faint uh, to calf kicks. I would even love to see Badr throw the left. Ooh! Badr's down with the right hand One, from Uku! Two, three! Ooh, that was the perfect four, right hand. Right five, hand he started to open six, to through it. Uku switched it. Hey, he just landed Eight. that straight as Badr switched Fight. stances. Uku have Hit. eight seconds to go. Can Uku get the finish? They open up. 
And his bottom down again. No, he quickly pops up. Oh, he did get counted. That's two knockdowns. Six, seven, look at him. Oh, wow, Antonio. What a crazy first round and a great tactic by Goku and great placement of that right hand. As soon as he switched and did something with his body, he just came in with it. That timing was just incredible. Big Mike needs to wake him up, but it's Botter turn self on. Then Uku timed it perfectly, that overhand right. What a shot. Botter Southpaw looking for the left kick. Uku steps right in and puts all his weight and power behind it. Then he just keeps going for the power shots. The big Uku right hand, that's what people need to watch. You need to watch it because he's a very big guy. You can see it on camera. It's crazy. Yeah, Uku touched Botter with that left hook there that put him down. That's why he got the count. Botter quickly popped up though. Let's hear what Big Mike's saying. Mike is getting him hyped up again. He just needs to concentrate, hide the gun. He's one, two, strong jab, strong right hand. Don't open too much because he lets Suku come in and throw the crazy hooks that he have. Black corner, white corner. Black. All right, let's see what Bader Hari is going to do in this second round here. He got dropped twice in that first round. I would love to see the switch left kick. Oh, you can see Uku getting more confident after the knockdown. He just nailed it and he touched oh. him again! Potter goes down One, for the third time. Two, three, four. One more time, five, the fight's five, over. Five, That's six, three. Four and a fight and it's over. Eight. Thank you. Uku's confident as he steps forward. Uku is going for everything. Potter's opening up, chin a little high, but do or die for Potter. Now he opens up. Oh. Oh, here comes Botter. It's crazy war now. Oh. Hey. I think Botter's One, left shin. Two, three. I guess that's four. it, Antonio. Oh, the body times. language is not good, and oh. this is the fourth knockdown. round. Oh, Uku Yuren down. Shocks the world. Getting a win against the legend, Botter Hari. Uku. Man, took this fight on three weeks' notice against the legend to come in here with this confidence, weather that early storm, and to get four knockdowns, Uku Urendal. Man, what a dream for him. Yeah, Urendal just one of his checklist dream. He just done it. The, I would say the bucket list, he just done it. Imagine 15 years ago, somebody told him you will fight Badr Hamri and knock him out. You will, he will not believe you, but after this, you can see the respect from Uku to Badr and how much that means to him. Yeah, this is for anybody in the world to even get a fight with Bader special, but to drop him four times here, what a performance from Uku Urendal. Uku just show everybody you cannot count him out never because he's super big guy with super strong hooks. Just here on the replay you can just see what, what the power has Uku is. He throws, he hits him with his more of the forearm than yeah. his glove. It almost looked like the back of Uku's hand hit behind Botter's ear and then he followed up, but even the way Botter fell and his, the way his knee fell, the body language, and you can see Botter's face, it wasn't, wasn't you can getting see up the easy. Hook. It's crazy fight. They start both to open and they, here you can see the body language of Botter. It's not good. Yeah, right from there. Uku Yurandal, the dream came true at that moment. He must have been, you know how stressful it is to fight Potter, to go into weigh-ins, to face off with him. There must have been a lot of stress on the side of Urendal. So for him to get here, get this win. And, and also in a three weeks notice, that's a very big guy. All, all the heavyweights need to watch himself, including me. Yeah, you said it. I didn't want to say it, Antonio, but he's climbing up the rankings. You might see Uku in the future. Yeah. I think he's waiting with somewhere. And you got to think, a big win here. Not only, we keep talking about how big the win is against Badr Hari, but this puts Uku into the Grand Prix now. So we're going to see him in that Grand Prix eight-man tournament for half a million dollars. To win that now is what he really wants. Yeah, he, he will now have the chance to rematch against Bahram and to win the tournament and half a million dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah, life-changing for sure.
we can see here the respect the crowd have for Bader and everything what he's done. He's a true walking legend. Every, every single one of us fighters and fight fans and true K1 fans grew up watching him. It's, you can only praise him for everything he did yeah. and for, for his will to fight even more. Yep, I agree. Badr Hari, 38 years old now, has been entertaining us since he was 18, 19 years old. He's been fighting for two decades at the highest level. And just a, just a fight for the record. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, Yusuf Aknik, waves off this contest with an official time of 47 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by a technical knockout, Uku Yurianda, who now advances to the heavyweight Grand Prix Tournament. I'm here with your winner, Uku Yurindal. You just shocked the world and probably a dream fight and win for you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Give me your emotions. I know you're a big fan of Bader, and to beat him here tonight, what are your thoughts? I cannot uh, put it in the words at the moment. This is, this is a lot of emotions. Well, you can see the crowd appreciating this fight. All right, you can see Bader exiting the arena now. Uku. Tell me, this qualifies you now for the heavyweight Grand Prix tournament. You gotta be excited. A lot of, a lot of. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you. I want to thank all my sponsors. All my sponsors who have helped me so much that I, I can come came here where, where I am at the moment. And all, also all my fans, all my fans in everywhere. And in, in Estonia also. I thank you for all the guys. All right, I know you're excited for this Grand Prix tournament. Give us your predictions on how that tournament's going to go, who you're excited for. I think uh, it's going to be a rematch with uh, Bahram, and it's going to be very interesting because I know now the key how to win him. All right, so what's the plan now? How do you get better from what you just did here tonight? Uh, not, not this, I think not this, but uh, I know how to win him now. All right, everybody, let's hear it for the winner, Uku Yurindau. We can see here the replay from the fight and what watch Uku catch Bader. It's like the big right hand behind the head, almost hit him with a forearm and the glove behind the head. And now again also a left hook that stumbled Bader and just the body language of Bader was not good enough to continue. You can see something is wrong. And you can see Uku very excited, but he was such a, a fan of Bader, I don't even think he wanted to talk too much about it, which you can see the respect from Uku. Not a big talker, but he talks with his fists and with knockouts. 